Sir 102.5. The Marriott Breakfast Show Podcast. They got 815. Delights and groove is in the hearts. It's Surf 102.5. We say good morning to Henrik. Good morning. Do you like that song? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Is that your kind of tune, is it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. You're 90 man, 90s yeah, man, yeah, yeah. 80s man. What are you? The 90s man. Yeah. Oh, I like okay. uh, the good. Uh, a little bit faster training songs. Oh, and training, yeah. you know, more, a yeah. little bit more speed, maybe. But because uh, are you into like I know you're into osteopathy, but yeah. are you into sport? Yep, yeah, I am. And fitness, yeah, yeah. and I suppose you have to be, don't you? No, no, you don't have to be. But I love sporting, and and here in Huahin, you have so many things to do. That's yes. what I love here. You, you, I mean, you can golf, you can do paddle tennis, you can do Mao Tai. You know, yeah. I, I do I do it all. I yeah. haven't tried kite surfing though. That's the next goal. Oh, oh you must. Yeah, you that's must. my next goal. But wow. he's, he's a very fit looking man, isn't he? I know. Oh, thank I you, know. Patrick. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> now, now <I'm> trying. <laughs> now I've got some burning questions about osteopathy yep. because I have no idea. I've never yep. been to a chiropractor, yeah. a physio, or an osteopath. Yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah, now it's time. I, I look so healthy. And yeah, you fit, do. You I? do. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. But osteopath deals with the back. Is that right? Yeah, we deal with the back, but it's it's uh, yeah. That's the short version. Yeah. Okay. We, yeah. So what's the difference between osteopathy and being a chiropractor? And chiropractor. You know, it's not the it's not a huge different mm. because uh, you know we have the same education it's just the, the big difference is, is the way how we treat the, right. the thinking of the body so it's, so, kind of, it, it's all bones and muscles it's just how you deal with exactly. them exactly so, so let's say if you you know this is very general you know uh, it, you can treat many different ways, but let's say if you go to a chiropractor, if click, you click, 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 click. yeah, but you, the osteopaths do that as well. You know, we, we we probably do more clicking than the chiropractor. Oh, really? Yeah, really? but but that's not you I know we I don't need to do that uh, because if you go to a chiropractor, they used to do the manipulation, yeah, right. Just click, click, click. So if yeah. you have a low back problem, they click the low back. If it's needed, yeah. Yes. If you go to an osteopath, we're more looking at the whole body. Okay, you have a lower back problem, and then we see what's the reason why you have the lower back problem. Mm. Mm. So if we go, if we go to golfers, that's mm. interesting because yes. we have a lot of in go- golfers here in Huahin. Good idea. Good idea. Uh, and yeah. the golfers, they doing a lot of rotation all the time. So hips, lower back. Yeah, and they get shoes. lower, they get lower back problems, and right. then they come to me and they say, Henrik, I have lower back problem. Uh, can you fix it? Yeah, but we have to look at the, you know, in this case, the thorax. Mm. That's above, yeah? Yes. Uh, we have to look at the posture mm. because pretty common, you're 50 plus, uh, you get stiff in the body. And the reason why you get the lower back problem is it's not very uncommon that it's actually the thorax. You are so stiff in the thorax. So when you do the rotation, you actually do too much rotation in the lower back. Mm. Nothing happened in the thorax. Yes. So, you know, to fix this lower back problem, you need to get mobility in the thorax. And so do you go to an osteo when you only have pain or? No. Like, but that's what you think. You're like, uh, yeah. oh, I've got a pain. I need to go and see 90% someone. 90% of the people, they come when they have pain. But you yeah. should actually come in, in prevention. You should come, you know, once in a while. I used to say, if you don't have any pain at all, you should come two, three times every year. Just check up. Just to make sure everything stays in place. Exactly. Have a look at the posture. Have a look at the mobility. And, and uh, yeah. you know, if you, the thing is, yeah, if, you have, if you have a good function, good mobility, you have a good circulation, then you feel yes. good. So is there a difference then between physiotherapy and osteopathy? What, what's that difference? That's, that's a bigger difference because physiotherapy, now you're speaking for, you know, more Europe because I don't know 100% how they work here it's, in Thailand. But isn't right. physio, that's more for recovering from... Physio is more rehab for me. Okay. Yeah. They give you a plan, okay, if you have a knee surgery, you, you, you've been a, have a knee replacement, then you should train, right. you, you, you train quadriceps, yeah. so you train okay. the muscles I, around. Okay. I always thought osteopathy was uh, more about the manipulation of, of muscle tissue. Was that correct or...? No, it's not correct. No. You do the manipulation, it's, it's in the, it's, we call it facet joints. And, and you, have, you have the vertebra mm. and you have the disc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Vertebra, disc. Vertebra, yeah. disc, yeah. And from the vertebra, you have two transfers that's going out mm-hmm. on the side, yeah? So uh, if, we, if you talk about the thorax, you have the ribs that's mm. connect to the vertebra. Mm. And you have two, two connections on each side. Mm. Yeah. And that's where the clicking is. Ah. So that is not, you know, we don't doing the, the clicking is not the disc. 
is it's a facet joint, and that's where it usually uh, it takes place. And the reason why it takes place is usually because of muscles. But you know, we don't treat the muscle; we treat the bones. We treat the, you know, the and movement. the joints, and yeah, yeah and the you, movement also, in the in you, the joints. You make sure all the bones are connected correctly. Yeah, yeah. you can say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I thought we'd just get back to some music. Go for it. Back in 1976, yes. uh, CB radio was all the rage. Yeah. Communication. Yes. You know about the yes. you know CB radio. People, you know truckers. CB. CB. With oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Little darling. Yeah. Sweet. Exactly. And then all the calls, hand calls. I used to call it. Yeah. And on the January the 10th in 1976, this track reached number one. Yeah, Breaker 1-9, this here's a rubber duck. You got a copy on me, Big Ben, come on. Convoy. That's a good song. I have not heard that in years. No, and we probably won't hear it again for a while either. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's sort of suited today, you know. That's okay, I get it. I get it. But Our no, guest today is Osteopath Henrik. So how long have you been in this profession of osteopathy? Uh, since 2012. And where did you start? I started in Sweden. Okay. Yeah, that, that's where I had my education, but the education is connected to the University of Wales mm -hmm. in England. But you don't see a lot of osteopaths here in, or especially here in Hua Hin or in No, Thailand. you don't see it in Thailand. No. In Australia, they're there. It's, and it's coming to yes. Thailand right now. Yes. And, yeah, well, you're here, aren't you? So, so, so. We're opening up the borders now. Yeah. <laughs> well, why not? And, and so, like, for an osteopath, like, yep. do you use um, uh, a mixture of prescription drugs or that with no. it? Or you, you're... I I'm, I'm work manually, so just okay. with the hands. No machines, uh, no drugs, nothing like that. So, uh, and do you teach people how to, you know, you know, they come to see you, they get worked on? Like, yep. how do, you know, when you go back home, you know, what do you do? You teach people how to, man to move or how to exercise? Yeah, you know, how does that work? It, it depends on the patients, actually, because it depends on what kind of shape they're in. Okay. And, you know, it depends on the age. It yeah. depends on if they're active or not. Yes. And some problems you can actually correct immediately, so okay. they don't they don't need help for, for a while. But mm. uh, you know, when you come to me, first we always start with a consultation yes. to see what's the problem here. So I must say, yeah. for, yeah. The, for the people who have been listening, like yeah. and you've been sitting next to me mm -hmm. and, and Patrick and Richard for the last mm -hmm. hour or so, you were studying us, like you know, looking at our posture, yeah. <laughs> looking how we're sitting, looking how we're standing and walking. We're yeah. all feeling mighty uh, yeah. uncomfortable here. What, Oh, what are you doing? That's not good. No, no. I want you to good. be comfortable. No, no, I am comfortable. <laughs> so why, you know, is that just, what are you doing? I think that's, that's... Uh, good, good question. Yeah. Are, are, are any of us falling apart? No, I think you're, uh, you know, you look like you're in pretty good shape, yeah, all of you. <laughs> nice answer. Thank you. <laughs> but, but, you know, that's the thing, when you've been studying some, uh, to get an OC, but you need to, at the least, to study four years in school, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and when you've been working, I've been working with these, you know, and, and, um since 2002 mm. if you go back yes. yeah before i'm uh was starting to know but i was working as a masseuse yeah? okay. and then, then i was okay. starting to become an osteopath because i didn't have all the answers okay and when you've been in this profession for such a long time you actually look at people how they're walking how they move mm -hmm. how they take off the clothes and oh. you know get dressed so and right there you can see Really? What is, what, what you know, you can is? you can do the you can you can do the findings there, and you can see so much yeah. uh, in a human body just by looking at it, and you can see. Uh, Time is actually very oh, tight. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, okay, it, it, it's too short. <laughs> but it is, you've got some interesting, really yeah, fascinating yeah, stuff. Yeah. All that thought. Yeah, it's all that thought. <laughs> and if you've got any questions, very quickly drop them on our Facebook Absolutely. page. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got to take a very short break. Oh. Back, we're going down under Ooh. with in excess in just a moment. Right. So okay. we're back in. We're, we're back with the back. We are back, back with the back. We've got backs. Henrik from Spine Clinic. Is yes, that right? Yes, correct. Spine Clinic. Yep. Now, what's the most common cause of back pain? Was that a hard question? Big question? It, it's a. Uh, it's a big question. I, I think. Uh, the big, the biggest reason here is because Hua Hin is a big golf town. Golf yeah, it's a golf sporting town, and, uh, and I love the golfers. Uh, usually, they are pretty easy to yeah. 
to fix, if you can say that. But you can get back pain from stress or tension. I, I like, I like, yeah. I like yeah. what you yeah. were saying about the speed bumps. I thought that was yeah. funny. <laughs> tell us about, tell us about those. The speed bumps. I, I just told uh, to this guy, say that I love the speed bumps here in, in uh, Hyo yeah. Hinya because they give me a lot of work. Uh, good, good for business because when people miss they don't slow down and then they get lower back problem ah, because nice. it's get a small you know you get the compression and then they get lower back problem and then they come to so me big fan of the I'm a Tesla big bar. fan of the bumps <laughs> do more speed bumps in Hua <laughs> 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 so you were saying before that you also work around the, the diaphragm and that type of thing exactly so, so it's one one big the biggest difference between osteopath and chiropractic is it's also that we treat the viscera, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, viscera the, the colon, the guts yeah, and the intestines. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, today we have a big thing called EBS, Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Yes. yes. And that, that's a very complex uh, uh, diagnosis, complex thing. And, and that's the reason could be, um, you know, it could be the stress, it could be... Uh, so just... Uh, yeah every part of you like can affect a lot of part of your body and your back exactly yeah mm. so it's all connected uh, you know the spine is connected and uh, if you talk about uh, the viscera you have the diaphragm you yes. have the breathing yes. and it's all about having the knowledge how to it's not a quick fix but it's all about the knowledge how how can I do to make this even better mm. Okay, and, and did you... It is you, so debilitating, isn't it? Yeah, because did you have back pain, Richard? I used to have back pain, yeah. a few, you know, 10, 15 years ago, yeah, 20 yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah. I've, I've had it for many years. Yeah. Recently, got a lot better. When I chilled out a lot When more. you meet me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just look looked at, at me. Yes. <laughs> and we're all good, man. And he's looking back I don't want to you. come. I don't want to come. Okay, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> well, I put it down to the fact that I'm a bit less stressed. Yeah. And I'm swimming more now. I was yeah. going to say, you're and, back in the swimming pool. And, and the, good, yeah. the good thing with back problems is usually when you're getting older, it's used to get better as well. You know, oh, really? if you look at the disc and what's happening when, you, when you're coming up to, you know, 60, 70, you know, mm. you're getting stiffer and usually it's, it's getting okay. better. So that's yeah. also, you know, I used to say, yeah, back pain is usually go away. But then you have the nerve pain and that's a little bit more complex. Yes, but it is so debilitating when it is just constant pain and you really cannot focus. Yeah. And it, you, you, you know, your whole mind yeah. changes. Yeah, it does. In terms yeah. of and you really don't want to take prescription drugs yeah. and that type of thing. You no, really want to work. Like no, you want to work away from doing uh, yeah. that type of thing. Yeah. So and that's the thing also when you have lower back pain. A lot of people they think when they have disc problem, you know, I should not come, but you should think the opposite. Because when you come with a disc problem to me, I don't, I don't treat the disc because that's already damaged. But I treat the things underneath and the thing above to make it better. Yeah, because when you have a pain problem, especially a nerve problem, you get so stiff, you get like a robot, and that's the thing. You know, um, I work around uh, it. Am I right in that allows the body to heal itself? Yeah, that's the thing. The body is, is, is self healing. It's just you know we just give some extra input and maybe some knowledge because some pain. You should, you know, you should move. That's the thing when you have lumbar pain, you should move as much as possible. That's the recommendation. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Moving, moving, moving. Yeah. Yeah. That's the main thing. And then, I you know. I guess the other problem, the other cause of, of back pain must be sitting at computers all day. I love I mean, computer I people. That. I do that a lot. I love I, computer people. I take a break after yeah. a couple of hours <laughs> yeah, and go yeah. walk. Yeah. 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 yeah, And that's the thing, to. yeah. Computer people, they get a lot of, you know, flexion in the thorax. Uh, headache is pretty common. And that's, yeah. uh, that's the thing we can... Uh, help them with, you know, that's... Uh, so, you, so you love everybody, you love <laughs> golfers, you love Tessa Bond people, you, you, love you know, You know, you just have to see it in the right ways. That's yeah. exactly the, the, right. You know, that's, uh, that's, that's the cool. thing, and, and uh, we're going in an age now, we know, computer, it's a lot of computer people, yeah. and it's going down in the age, yeah, and that's yeah. the thing, you know, now yeah. people come when they are 20, 20 years old with headaches, and that's a good... I love to treat them because they usually get so good. Yes. Do you get a lot of people um, with problems with the top of the neck? Yes. Because they're looking at the phone? Yeah. Exactly. You have something called iPod neck. 
Yeah, so iPod neck. iPod neck. And I, iPhone, I actually got some patients in with inflammation in the fingers because they've been texting too much. But that, yes. Yeah. That, that, yeah. <laughs> so, and then I just said, stop texting. Yeah. And it's going to disappear. Yeah, stop texting. Yeah, stop texting. Well, that's, yeah, that's a quick fix. Yeah. Well, that's, 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 that's the old joke, yeah. isn't it? Doctor, doctor, my neck hurts when I do that. Well, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that's a good one. Are we almost there? I think we're almost there. We yeah. have time for one more. Yeah, okay, yeah, good. Short work, Looking right. forward to it. Yeah. What time is it? It's a quarter two. We better rock on. And uh, back with some music from Maroon 5. The Marriott Breakfast Show. We'll be back soon. Have you found it quite interesting talking to Henry this morning? Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. no, I find I it. Because I've never been, as I said before, I've never been to an osteopath yeah. or a physio no. or a chiropractor. Oh, it's time. Now you, know, now you know what I'm doing. Yes, and, so you I know, push my soul Thank you back. very much for the invitation. That's you know, good. really nice to be here. How, how, how do we find you? You've got a website? Yeah, I have a website. It's spineclinic.co. And I'm, I'm working at the Soy 94. Okay. And that's Sports Center. It's a really nice place. Uh, we have some yeah. good, you know, it's a restaurant and we have a good swim teacher yeah. and a pool. So, you know, it's, good it's, it's, a good, it's a good concept. And I'm there. And, and you said good place to take the children very good place to, to take the, the kids okay excellent so spine clinic spine clinic dot co and you, you know if you want to come to me you can book online okay well that's it have we a, might as well get out of here right yeah. have a great weekend yeah. yeah touch of life antiques with a classic track the marriott breakfast show podcast surf 102.5